Hello, in today's video, I wanted to show you how the new feature that just rolled out to Power Tool Agents really work. And this feature is called a system fallback. Today, when a user is trying to somehow interact with Power Tool Agents and they post a question that the PVA is just not taught, is not configured to answer, it will ask a user twice to rephrase their question. So I think that me being a user, if I'm being asked twice to rephrase, even though I actually know what I want to ask, can be a little bit frustrating. So just look at this. I want to ask my bot, what is the weather today? The bot is actually not trained to answer the question about the weather, so it is asking me to rephrase the question. I get a little bit nervous. I would so that's my question again. And again, bot is going to ask me, no, I don't understand that. So I am now getting a little bit nervous, even not a little bit, but really nervous. And at this moment, Bot is saying, sorry, I don't know what to do about you. I don't know how to help you. Let me just connect you to a human agent. Of course, if this human agent connectivity, this handover to the human agent is configured. In my case, it's not. So to avoid this sort of frustration, there is this new feature that has rolled out, as I said. So you have to go into settings and then there is the system fallback functionality. So by default, it is turned off. It is not being, you know, active. But once you hit this add icon, this system fallback topic is being provisioned. All right, so it has been added. Now, once I go to it, I can then, of course, configure. So what I want to do now is to say, okay, I'll just rephrase it. I So this is what the bot is actually taught, how it is configured to, to work, was to answer the questions around COVID-19. So now we'll post a question. So now we have two options. The first one is, yes, I'd like to ask a question about uh, COVID-19. The second one is actually, no, do something else. So I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that as well. So we have two, two options. So in case, yes, I'd like, then what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to another topic that is called the COVID Q&A. Now in case, this is a human agent, we'll just uh, enter conversation with the transfer to human agent and uh, just post the question. And put this one on recognize. All right. So with that, we can actually use this uh, fall over system topic to handle this kind of scenario. So let me show you how it works right now after we have this system fallback topic configured. But you know what, before, before I really do that, I just wanted to show you that this question, this topic is actually 
a little bit different to every other system topics we have because it doesn't have trigger phrases and we can't configure them. So that's the only difference. It's a really system topic that you actually can modify um, the conversation flow, but you can't, con you can't configure the, the trigger phrases because, well, we don't have to. So I'll do it again. And this time, the bot will not ask me again to rephrase this question. It will immediately display the information. That, okay, I read your question, I understood it, but hey, I have no idea what the answer is. So in this situation, I can either post you or, you know, handle you over to a human agent, or maybe you'd like to answer the, you have, maybe you'd like to get a question about uh, the COVID-19 because that's the topic I was, I was uh, trained to answer your questions around. And this is actually how this new functionality about the system fallback works. And I think this will really save a lot of frustration um, in the end user's interaction with our virtual agents because that really shows that the bot is not a dumb thing, a, a really dumb thing, but it's actually uh, listening and can recognize whether it is able to answer the question or maybe not. And in case it is not able to answer, it's not trying to ask user to rephrase and rephrase and rephrase over and over, but it's actually just displaying uh, an interaction that is showing the user, okay, I, I will not get an answer from this bot, even though I will rephrase it. So I'll just stop it there. Thank you very much for watching. It was actually a very short video, but I hope it will uh, show you how, how to use this new functionality. Thank you very much.